Well, good morning, everyone. So uh, we're just coming up to Avalis right now. He's uh, just crossed the line and uh, he's now just bearing away. And uh, you've probably seen the post that uh, he is uh, going to be coming into the river at 10 o'clock uh, today, but uh, he's happy to have crossed the line for sure. Uh, the bayonet team have come out as well to meet him, and uh, uh, yeah, it'll be good to say good day. Oh. I'll hang on the mic. Bonjour. Bonjour à tous à Village. Tommy vient juste de passer la ligne d'arrivée. Il est 7 heures au sable de. Il est 7 heures au sable de Lone et il y a beaucoup de vent. On va pas beaucoup parler. Hello à Village. Hello. Hello. How are you? Woo. Hey. How are you? Good to see you. Jeez, hey! your beard's got even longer. <laughs> your beard has got even longer. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd believe it, I'd believe it. Anyway, you look good, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, look really good. So, uh, I'll, no. I'll put the flag for the official. For the official down the river. It's okay, it's okay. We're happy to see you. <laughs> well done. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, you know, you know the position, you know that Kirst that uh, Kirsten's already in. I know. Yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> but well done, eh? Okay. It's been uh, quite a ride. I Holy dooly. Getting the port back was like a project. I know. And now we'll finally be able to talk about the secret sale. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's looking good, so he's happy to get in. Got a few things pa patched up in the back. Is that the dunny door on the bottom of the blade there on his on his uh, uh, wind pilot? Anyway, so all is good and uh, uh, yeah, Bane, it's looking quite uh, quite slick and quite smooth. Uh, it's amazing to think that. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking at it. What part is that? That's the anchor. The anchor. Okay. <laughs> so he's he's gone through the toilet door chopped up. And we were talking about the wind pilot on the back of the boat. That's the wind vane self steering gear had lots of trouble with breaking blades and bits and pieces but he's managed to be able to keep it all running uh, the toilet door didn't work so well and uh, now he's chopped up his for fortress anchor that's the stock of the fortress anchor which is aluminium not a lot of how surface area doing? anyway yeah <laughs> Yannick you, back how there how are you doing <laughs> how are you doing this morning how are you I'm, feeling how are you guys yeah Happy we're good to see you yeah no everything is good and uh huge following and uh uh, you know, I mean, back home in your country uh, is massive. So uh, uh, everyone's incredibly inspired about Mr. Fixit, you know. <laughs> For 10 days. <laughs> then it'll be all cricket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, all, is, all is good. All is fantastic. Yeah. But the boat looks good. You know, yeah. She looks clean. The bottom looks really clean. If you... There's barnacles right up the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so uh, all part of the you fun. You look so great. You look so great. Me? Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> Happy to be in uh, Le Sable de Lone. Alors, uh, <laughs> bonjour à tous. Bienvenue au Sable de Lone pour accueillir à 7h du matin, comme je le disais tout à l'heure, le beau à village Tommy. Très Tommy heureux d'avoir passé à l'instant la ligne d'arrivée. Il est souriant, il salue tout le monde et je, il a l'air en tout cas très pressé d'être à terre. Il a passé la ligne d'arrivée et il retourne en fait, il va retourner à mer pour pouvoir appeler son épouse euh, Urmila en Inde euh, et il rentrera juste après, après son coup de fil, juste ce matin euh, vers 9h ou 10h, il sera dans le chemin. What's the time in the river Don? Uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Il sera, il sera dans le, donc dans le chenal, si vous voulez venir saluer Abulash Tommy, le navigateur qui a failli perdre sa vie dans la première Golden Globe Race, qui a dématé, qui a été blessé, qui a eu une opération au dos et qui re, est revenu dans ses GGR 2022, qu'il a failli presque gagner. Mais et puis vous savez, pour faire un, un beau premier, il faut un magnifique deuxième. C'est ce qu'a été Abulash Tommy tout au long de sa course, qui finit ici au Sable de l'Ode, à, ce, à, à ce samedi matin à 7h donc, euh, donc voilà si vous voulez venir l'accueillir saluer son exploit lui dire bienvenue au Sable de l'Onde comme seuls nous les vendeurs et les sablés savons le faire soyez dans le chenal à 10h euh, pour le voir arriver et maintenant je vais faire quelques photos oh, good. Oh, good. 
good. Yeah. Like so um, yeah, it's amazing. So it was all a bit of a bit of a trick. I think uh, the reality is that um, we thought uh, during the night that the wind might swing onto the nose, and we weren't sure exactly what time he'd turn up. We figured it'd be sometime between maybe earlier six o'clock and uh, latest about 9 30 10 o'clock and uh, as it turns out uh, uh, it looks as if sometime uh, Abolish must have spoken to a ship in the last uh, uh, the last number of days and uh, he uh, is aware now that his wife uh, will not be here so he's really keen to get on the phone and uh, uh, have a big chat so um, that'll be next on the agenda now he's crossed the line we've given him permission to uh, open the uh, sat phone uh, for his private use now so he uh, he'll be uh, ringing uh, her very soon that was a big part of what's going on for uh, uh, for him he's looking forward to uh, finally being able to communicate with family and friends so that's uh, a big part of it as well but the boat looks good the Russell 36 and uh, long stories the the wind vane and everything on the back uh, even the, the plywood vane uh, at the top the flip-flop that's been repaired he's uh, change the um, uh, change the uh, running back stays a few times, and there's been a bit of an ongoing thing about uh, uh, his secret sail. So I'm about to disclose for those sailors that have been following this what the secret sail is. Now you'll see the backstay, which is a wire going from the back of the boat up to the top of the mast. That's um, uh, pretty important. Keep the mast up, and there's two yellow lines. I don't know whether you can see the yellow lines. One each side of the cockpit, and they're connected to a pulley part way up the backstay. Just show them up the backstay, Genji. That pulley. Okay, that's a halyard. So normally halyards are on the main mast, and uh, they hoist the sails, the main sail, and the, the stay sail, and the genoa, and so on. But he's actually got a little block on the backstay, and he's got a halyard there, and he actually hoists the sail up that backstay, and he tacks it down. That's the front of the sail. It connects to the uh, bottom of the cockpit there. And he's actually got another sail as if it's a catch rig, but there's no mizzen mast. So uh, that's his secret sail. Very obvious. It used to be used, uh, you know, not often, but used to be used, uh, you know, 50 years ago on some cruising boats and so on. So, um, yeah, uh, there really was a secret sail, and it really did make a difference because I could never work out how he was getting extra speed occasionally, and that's it. So uh, there's the mystery solved. Later on, we'll, we'll disclose some of the pictures that we've got, and you'll see what it is and how it worked. And I'm quite certain that in 2026 GGR, we'll see more secret sails. <laughs> so uh, uh, that's that one. But the uh, uh, waterline extenders, that was, a, that was a scam. And the foils on his boat that we talked about, that was a scam. But the secret sail was very real, and it did make a difference. Hey, we just broke the news about your secret sail. <laughs> okay. But... But uh, I told him they didn't have foils, it's okay. <laughs> I introduced uh, my secret trade to you, the marina. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you can present it. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. No, that's really good. Well, I, I need to have a picture of you, and I cannot have your beautiful smile, so that's why I keep doing pictures. <laughs> You look so good, Abilash. You absolutely look fantastic. Ten years younger than when you left. It's true. Okay, so I was 53 when I left. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. Uh, when is your birthday? 5 February. 5 February. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the thing is, when I go to sea, uh, a lot of my medical problems disappear. Yeah. So you're not crazy anymore. Huh? So you're not crazy anymore. Uh, no. Yeah, good. <laughs> no, no. Otherwise, I'm pathologically crazy. But it takes more than two months at sea. Yeah. 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 So if it's at two months, don't interview me. <laughs> okay. No problem. No problem. Anyway. Uh, my acidity is gone. Yeah. Uh, before GGR 2018, I had cholesterol. Yeah. That went uh, with GGR 18. Unbelievable. Uh, I had hearing issues before my uh, first second navigation. When I came back, the hearing issues were much better. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so you get that means if you get a uh, little bit down in the next few years, you'll have to come back in 26. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yes, there we go. He said yes, he's back in yes, 26. Yes, yes. I, I do the online version. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. You know, I can do anything I want with my life. Yeah, yeah. As long as my wife is okay with it. Okay, well, Umi, I'm, I'm sure Umi's watching this, you know that, you know, so yeah. Yeah, maybe she is. <laughs> 
yeah. Maybe she was doing it at dinner time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 she'll be watching. <laughs> so, that's cool. Quite a ride, eh? Quite an adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you'll be you. It's you'll be looking forward to expanding your world. You know, it's been no, no more than ten meters. <laughs> I'm dreading it already. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there'll be uh, there's a lot of people looking forward to seeing you. Believe me. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of people who uh, help me. Yeah. Go and come back. Yeah. And I need to thank them. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Dick's bought a bit. Uh, Dick has bought you a very interesting present. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna present it to you. I think. I hope it's not a new non-skid uh, surface. Oh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it's a new invoice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, Dick is the uh, uh, main preparateur, I suppose, of the boat, and uh, he was uh, uh, working with Mark Slats in the 2018 edition and uh, gave. Uh, uh, Avalish a huge hand, uh, put a new nose on the boat when he had an issue before the start and so on. So, uh, uh, but Dick's there waiting as well, and it'll all be a lot of fun. Yeah. Charging it. Yeah. Ah, you should charge it earlier. I, I crossed the line. Okay, you so you're okay to you you're okay to use your phone now as well whenever yeah, you want. I put it on charge. Let it. Uh, okay. Get some light. Yep. Yep. No problem. Okay. And uh, Sandy's going to have the SIM card for you and bits and pieces and all that stuff. So uh, your phone will run hot. <laughs> the phone will run hot. <laughs> Back to the real world. <laughs> Never mind. All good. All right. So uh, it doesn't feel like seven months, eight months. Yeah, I can imagine. What? Ten years. So do you still have that perspective of the world being quite small now that you've gone another lap? Yes. You know. So the thing is, if I do something wrong. The world is so small, I can't even hide anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a lasting impression for me. I only did it once. You've now done it two and a half times. But, yeah, you just realise how small the world is, you know. It's it quite amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it at five knots, six knots. It's just, yeah, crazy. So like, we... uh, they say Moby Dick. Yeah. I'm 20,000 miles away from home <laughs> by way of Cape Horn. Yeah, exactly. Yep, there yep. Yep, get out there, keep walking, and you'll eventually get back again. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's cool. All right. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we can shake hands. Oh, yeah. We can shake hands. Oh, we can shake hands. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> this, this, this has to go in the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Avalish. You know, yeah, we go back a while. <laughs> It's fantastic. So uh, yeah, very happy. We yeah, say, very happy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Don't go into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Sorry. you for hosting uh, GDR. Uh, because of which we guys get a chance. You know, the small guys get a chance to. So happy for you. <laughs> You're not small. Hey, believe me. You're never small. You're always a big in India. I'm 20 kilos smaller now. Yeah, believe kilo. me. You I don't qualify. Yeah. I got. I got. Uh, no, one, two, three layers. So I look uh, more, but okay. uh, I'm going to do it. That's enough. Take a selfie with you, Abilash. You don't mind? <laughs> I don't know how. You can, you can. Bonsoir. Okay. Bonsoir. Oh, don't hurt the boat. Uh -oh. uh -oh. It's okay now, you know. <laughs> okay, no, Come on, quick! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could have got a quick kiss then, cheapers. No, Amy would get care. jealous. No, no, no. His wife is watching, I cannot. I'm joking. Yes. We know okay. we are friends with Abilash yeah. since... Uh, a long time. A long time yeah. now. A long time. And he, he's such a beautiful sailor and such a beautiful person. And we are... I am really, really, really happy to see him back after all this trip, all these troubles in the last GGR and everything. Yeah. La lumière est magnifique. Bon, on a fait, <laughs> on a fait à ce que j'expliquais tout à l'heure. On a juste fait un petit salut avec lui. Je suis très heureuse de le voir à Bilash, de le voir uh, si en forme, si heureux. On le connaît tous bien. C'est presque un ami, c'est presque de la famille maintenant. Tous ces navigateurs qui viennent tous les quatre ans ici, qui sont sur les pontons, qui uh, qui discutent, qui, qui font leur tour, qui souffrent et qui reviennent.
Et, euh, et je ne vous cache pas que j'ai été extrêmement inquiète pour lui, justement à cause de son opération, à cause de son dématage dans la précédente du GER. Chaque tempête qui s'approchait de lui me serrait le cœur euh, terriblement. Voilà, je, je ne parle pas beaucoup ce matin parce que j'ai fait en même temps les photos. Je reprendrai le micro dans quelques instants. Okay, so uh, anyway, he's crossed the line. He's now sailing back out to sea, but don't worry, he's not going back to La Sable de Lone fire around the world circumnavigation. <laughs> he doesn't want to do a, a, a twin loop or anything. And uh, uh, very shortly, Avalish will uh, get a chance to call his wife uh, back in India. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, so we'll be. So for the people who are in town, they can yep. come at 10, he'll be in the 10 river at 10 o'clock. He'll, he'll enter the river at 10 o'clock. So uh, we look forward to seeing everyone down there and uh, give him a bit of a hoo-ha. And, uh, uh, and then about 10.30 uh, or 10.20 on the, on the marina, on the Vendée Marina. And then from there, uh, after a bit of, bit of champagne flying, it'll be up to the stage. And, uh, and then after that, there'll be a press conference as well. So uh, we look forward to that. He's really happy, uh, looks fit and healthy. And um, yeah, looking, looking so quite cool. To, so beautiful to see him, so yeah. happy. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so his big smile in the, in the sunrise. Yeah. Donc voilà, on va arrêter ce live. On va laisser Abilash après son épouse, Urmila. Et, euh, et nous le retrouverons dans le chenal, nous serons live à nouveau juste au moment de l'entrée dans le chenal. La bonne nouvelle, c'est que le son sera toujours mieux euh, parce que nous serons à l'abri du vent. Donc à 10h du matin, il va rentrer dans le chenal, nous serons live peut-être vers 9h30, quelque chose comme ça. À tout à l'heure, et pardon pour ce live parti un peu dans tous les sens, mais on était trop contents de le voir. Et puis c'est aussi un peu la beauté des lives de la GGL, c'est qu'il ne faut pas penser à tout, il faut juste vivre le moment tel qu'il est. Et celui de ce matin était ainsi. A tout à l'heure, au revoir. Keep it running, Ginger. Keep it running. We'll just do a loop around. Just, yeah. Uh, just before we go, we'll just do a big... Okay, see you later, everybody. See you at 10. Bye-bye.